What's the difference between a recorded phone conversation and a podcast episode? Or what's the difference between sitting in on someone else's Zoom meeting and listening in on an engaging, addictive podcast episode? It's the editing. Anyone can press record, but few people will actually take the time to learn how to edit their podcasts. I get it, editing a podcast can really suck, but if you set aside some time and learn how to do it correctly, it can actually be really fun. The problem is, Finding information or training specific to podcast editing is difficult. You won't find any classes at your local community college about podcast editing, and a lot of the information you find here on YouTube or inside blog posts is misleading, overly complex, and not very easy to apply. I'm Studio Steve. I'm an audio engineer, podcast producer, and podcast coach. I'm also the creative director of the Pod Sound School, and you can find a ton of really helpful podcasting videos on our channel here on YouTube. I've also been teaching people for many years about how to use DAWs, or digital audio workstations, which is just a fancy way of saying audio editing software. And over the years, I've developed a streamlined and fun teaching style. We are constantly being asked questions about podcast editing, from technical issues to what's the best software to use, or how do you achieve that classic sounding podcast voice? So I thought I would put together a free online training just for podcasters who are overwhelmed or confused about how to properly edit a podcast. It's called Podcast Editing for Beginners. And in this free online training, I'll be walking you through which podcast editing software is the best and most affordable for indie podcasters. And then I will get you started quickly with basic editing techniques and show you some really cool and simple to apply tips that will have your podcast episodes not only sounding really good, but also it's gonna save you a ton of time every time you sit down to edit your show. The training is going to be about 40 minutes, so make sure you come prepared and free of any distractions. It's going to be packed with Pod Sound School's must-know podcast editing tips, so you won't want to miss out. To grab your seat or find out more information, just click the link where you're watching. It's really important that you put in some time to learn how to edit a podcast properly. And there's a lot more that goes into editing your podcast than just removing a few mistakes and trimming out the beginning and the end of your recordings. Like I said earlier, Editing is what sets your podcast apart from an otherwise boring phone conversation. So why do so many podcasters choose not to edit? You will hear podcasters claim that they intentionally want to include their mistakes or unflattering speech habits like ums and uhs and long pauses. Their argument is that they want to preserve the natural integrity and the tone of the conversation. The result of this, however, is usually podcast episodes that are long-winded, boring, and directionless. This doesn't typically provide a great experience for the listener. And with so many options for podcast listeners, choosing a podcast to listen to is a real commitment. So an hour and a half phone call with your buddy is a quick way to turn them away. I get a lot of resistance to this with responses like, well, Joe Rogan rambles on for three hours and he's the most popular podcaster there is. People like to hear the natural flaws of human speech. That's what's so great about podcasting. Well, for one thing, Joe Rogan is interviewing celebrities. And for another thing, he's been interviewing people for years and has developed a really unique style. But if you're set on editing this way or having little to no cuts, that's fine. But removing the unwanted parts of your recordings is only one stage of podcast editing. That's the stage I like to call the cleanup. But there is an even more important stage than this one. And that is the stage I call adding the polish. This is where we apply effects to our voice recordings, like compression, EQ, noise reduction, and limiting. I know just the names of these effects can sound intimidating and might further worsen the big reason people don't edit their podcasts. And that's because it's overwhelming. From the outside, it seems confusing. And we don't want to take the time to learn. But really, these effects and many of the other applications of audio editing software are not very difficult to learn. Even if you're someone who thinks of yourself as tech challenged and you really don't like learning things like brand new computer programs, I have personally seen many of the most tech challenged people you can imagine become audio recording and editing wizards. And finally, perhaps the biggest reason that podcasters don't get good at editing is because of procrastination. It's something that they mean to get around to but never seem to find the time. So they keep posting unedited podcast episodes with a little music piece at the beginning and at the end. And as a result, they don't grow their audience. They don't make their podcast stand out from the rest. Your podcast is a reflection of you and your brand. You want the quality of the content you put out to match the quality of your ideas and your message. 
So no more excuses, no more procrastination. Come hang out with me for 40 minutes and start your journey to becoming a killer podcast editor. I promise you'll be happy you did. All right, see you in class.